Hello, this is Haley from Food Korea. Today, I'll be making kimbap. Although there are many ingredients, the recipe is quite simple. Shall we go through it step by step? I've listed necessary ingredients in the description below. Don't worry if you don't have all the ingredients. You can always make it with what you already have. If you're short on ingredients, even just adding eggs will make it delicious, so make sure to prepare eggs. After cracking and thoroughly mixing the eggs, strain them once to make them smoother. Let's make a thin omelet. Even if it tears a bit, it's gonna go inside the gimbap and nobody will notice, I promise. So don't worry. Roll the thin egg omelet and cut it into appropriate sized pieces. For gobo, Simmer them in 1 cup of water, about 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. If it lacks water, add a little bit more gradually while cooking to ensure it's well cooked. Now fish cake! Finally cut them lengthwise and stir fry in a pan with some oil. If you're not using gobo, add soy sauce and sugar to the fish cake instead to add flavor. Slice carrots into small, long pieces. You can use slicer to make it easier. When stir-frying carrots, it will dry quickly, so use a bit more oil than you think you'll need. Blanch the spinach in boiling water for 30 seconds, then drain. It's more convenient to blanch them by boiling water in a kettle instead of using the whole pot. Squeeze the spinach to get excess water out as much as you can. And season with olive oil, garlic, and salt. Chop red cabbage into small pieces. This will add color to the gimbap. Cut ham into long, thin slices. Instead of ham, you can also use bulgogi, sausages, spam, or even tuna mayo, which also tastes great. Drain out excess oil in the tuna can and mix tuna well with mayo. If you want it spicy, add a little sriracha sauce. It's recommended to include pickled radish. If not, you'll need some other type of pickle. Slice the crab sticks lengthwise. I won't stir fry them, I'll use them as they are. For rice, season it with sesame oil, salt, and sesame seeds. But today, I'll use vinegar, sugar, and salt instead because some people don't like sesame oil in the kimbap. Now, it's time to roll the gimbap. Spread rice evenly on the seaweed. This time, I'll add sesame leaves before rolling to accommodate tuna mayo. Sesame leaves also help prevent moisture coming out from tuna mayo. Place the leaves beneath and on top of tuna mayo, and then add your desired ingredients after. I added fish cake, pickled radish, red cabbage, carrots, and egg. Kimbap tastes and looks better when the ingredients are stacked nicely in order. Shall we roll it again? It's perfectly fine to take your time and prepare it slowly. Try adding or removing ingredients to compare flavors. Kimbap always tastes better with plenty of carrots and eggs. Nowadays, reducing the amount of rice is a trend, right? After rolling it tightly, put water at the end of the seaweed to make it stick together. Press it firmly and lightly brush some oil on top. Cut it evenly about 1 inch apart. The best part is here when you look at one side of the kimbap as it blooms like a flower with ingredients. If you want to watch more videos for next delicious recipe, please like and subscribe. I wish you happy cooking and see you next time.